Hi, this is Josh with RGB Halo Kits, and in this video, we're going to be installing our 2015 Plus Dodge Challenger multicolor DRL boards. Step one, you're going to want to open your headlights. You can do this by using a conventional oven or heat gun. In this step, we're going to be using a conventional oven, and we're going to preheat the oven to 250 degrees and we're gonna bake this headlight for 15 to 20 minutes now it's important to note before you bake your headlight make sure you allow the oven to fully preheat and we like to put down some mats to protect your headlight from getting damaged in the oven you can also use aluminum foil if you don't have any baking mats Next step, now that your oven is fully preheated, go ahead and sit your headlight inside the oven and be sure the headlight isn't touching any of the sides of the oven. Next, go ahead and set your timer for 15 to 20 minutes. For this headlight, we're gonna be baking for 20 minutes at a time at 250 degrees. Next, after your headlight has been heated for 20 minutes, go ahead and pull your headlight out of the oven. After your headlight's out the oven, you're gonna wanna use a small flathead screwdriver. Just begin prying nice and easy into the seal. Work your screwdriver around the entire seal until you've gotten around the entire headlight. With this process, take your time. You can bake again if you need to. If the headlight gets too cool, you'll wanna throw it back in for about 10 more minutes. Okay, we're just gonna continue prying and go around the headlight. You'll start to feel the seal separate a little bit. work your screwdriver or pry tool around the entire headlight here. Rotate the headlight as you work. Once you work your way around the entire seal and you feel it start to come apart, now you're just gonna take your screwdriver and you're gonna begin putting a little bit of pressure and trying to slowly pry the lens off. Once you get a little bit of separation, you can kinda of use your flat head or you can use some type of pry tool which you can get at Home Depot or Harbor Freight and you can start creating a little bit of separation between the lens and the housing. You don't wanna to use too much force here. You don't wanna force it, just nice and easy. You can see, there we go. Headlight comes right off. Next, you're gonna remove these four T10 screws. We're going to take out the OEM DRL boards. You also need to remove the seven millimeter screws as well. Move the factory ring. Next, we're gonna remove this faceplate. So to remove this, we're gonna remove the remaining seven millimeter bolts here. You're gonna pull off this faceplate, turn it around, and you're gonna temporarily disconnect the main harness right here. Just be sure to reconnect this before resealing the headlight. 
going to set our headlight to the side. And now we are going to remove and swap out the factory DRL boards. I'm just going to unplug the boards. Remove your factory boards. You're going to unplug your factory boards from the OEM circuit board. You will not need this. Next, we're going to go ahead and install our multicolored boards. You're going to have an A and a B board for each side. Your B board is going to go over the factory turn signal portion. Repeat the process for the other side. And your multicolor DRO boards are now installed. Now you're going to run your wires out the back of the assembly and reinstall your faceplate into the headlights. Next, before you reinstall your faceplate back into your housing, you're going to want to scrape out all the OEM perma seal or sealant around this channel as well as this channel. After you finish scraping out of your main seal, you're also going to do this secondary seal here. Same process, you're just going to get a flathead in here and just scrape out all this factory sealant. Okay, after you've done scraping your sealant out the channel, you're going to go ahead and refill the channel with our butyl headlight sealant. You're just going to fill the entire channel until you work all the way around. Repeat the same thing for this smaller inner channel. Next, after you got your butyl sealant into the channel, you're going to go ahead and reassemble the inner bezel. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and re-plug plug in our headlight plug here. Make sure that snaps in. Now we're going to run our wires through the back of the headlight. Okay, once your wire, wires are ran through the back of the headlight, you're ready to reinstall the bezel here. So you're just gonna go ahead and line it back up. And you're gonna reinstall the five seven millimeter bolts here. Okay, after you have your bezel back on and your wires ran through the back of the headlight, you're gonna go ahead and drill a hole in your back housing cap for your wires. Once you have your hole drilled, you're gonna run your wires through the hole and then you can reseal this using a JB Weld or some type of thicker epoxy. Alternatively, you can also use our wire glands to seal this hole and securely tighten the wires. For this example we are going to be using the wire glands so you're just going to take your wire gland you're going to go ahead and insert this into your drilled hole securely tighten this down here You're just going to take your wires, run them through the gland. Once that's ran, go ahead and put your back cap back on. 
and put the top on your gland tighten. You can also depin these and use a smaller gland in some cases. Okay, go ahead and tighten that and you'll have a nice clean seal coming out the back of your headlight. Okay, before you reseal your headlight, go ahead and get an air duster, blow out your headlight here and your lens, as well as clean up any spare old sealant that's still attached to the lens here. So just get a flathead screwdriver. You can also use a razor blade and you're just gonna scrape off some of this old sealant here. Okay, after we have our sealant all done and our lens clean and all the old sealant scraped off, we're gonna go ahead and put the lens back on and rebake for 250 degrees at 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, go ahead and rebake your headlight. Okay, go ahead and remove your headlight from the oven after you're finished baking. Okay, once you get your headlight out of the oven, go ahead and push the headlight lens back onto the housing. And we recommend using just some C clamps or small clamps to go ahead and clamp your lens securely onto the housing. You're gonna wanna clamp all around the headlight and then let this dry for about 30 minutes. Okay, once your headlight has finished drying, you're gonna go ahead and wire your RGBW LEDs according to our wiring guide. So make sure you take your LED drivers the LED drivers plug into the LED product. Be sure not to plug the LED product straight into the controller. It does have to go through the LED driver first. This regulates the voltage going into the LEDs. So go ahead and take a look at the wiring here. So the wiring, so your actual LED product goes to the LED driver. And then the two LED drivers are going to go into the controller. For this product, you're going to have two LED drivers per side. So you'll have a total of four LED drivers on a four output controller. There we go. Perfect. Once you get everything wired correctly, you are now complete and ready to set up your app, which this is outlined in another video. Your install is now complete.